Hi everyone, today we're going to do a fine motor skills activity um, where we are going to find some objects around the house and feed them through the animal's mouth using either tweezers or a clothes peg. So first of all you need to choose what animal you're going to do and draw it on some card. I've chosen a penguin and I'm going to carefully cut round my animal. Today's activity is great not only for using tweezers and picking up the objects but also for cutting. Just be careful when you cut your penguin out and just take your time or whatever animal you choose. When you do it just make sure that the mouth is the right size for when it comes to feeding the objects. So I'm going to carefully cut round my penguin. Be careful when you do the mouth because it will be in the middle of the animal. You then will need a cylinder shape with cardboard to be able to get your animal to stand up. So I'm just going to cut around the mouth. Okay, right. With the cardboard, just roll it into a cylinder and use some sellotape at the top and at the bottom to hold it in place. Once you've done that, you then need to attach your animal to it. So if you use two pieces of sellotape on either side just to hold it in place you could also colour in your animal if you want to it will now stand up I'm going to use tweezers if you haven't got tweezers then you can also use a clothes peg the object the idea of the objects being different sizes is just so that it makes it a little bit more challenging when it comes to picking them up so I've got here a couple of little toys some pipe cleaners and some Lego characters and rubbers. So it really is up to you what you want to use. So I'm going to just demonstrate how to do it. So we'll use the tweezers and we'll pick up the objects. So like I say, if you need to use the peg, then that is absolutely fine as well and will work just the same. What you could do is have a go at maybe challenging your grown up and having two piles of objects and seeing who can post and feed the animal the quickest and see who the winner is um, so i hope you enjoy doing the activity and i look forward to seeing them on twitter and youtube bye